study is now calling last February's Biogen conference in Boston a super spreading event. By looking at genetic data, scientists estimate that almost 100 confirmed cases from that meeting actually caused approximately 20,000 more cases in the Boston area. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Boston tonight with what we can learn from this. Christina? Well, David, we can learn a lot about how quickly this virus can spread unchecked. Remember, this happened back before we really knew much about coronavirus or the importance of masks and social distancing. About 20,000 COVID-19 cases traced to one event on Boston's waterfront, the February Biogen Conference. That's according to the Broad Institute's newly released study. In this particular event, it was sort of like a perfect storm for a respiratory virus like this to spread that quickly. The study shows it very quickly moved from Boston to Virginia, North Carolina, Texas, Michigan, and even Australia. The conference led to clusters in Boston's homeless community and contributed to hot spots like Everett, Revere, and Chelsea. But I do think it speaks to the power of that virus to move from one person to another, to another, to another, to another. Something Governor Charlie Baker says is still happening as we hear in this warning from Nantucket town officials. Two recent COVID-19 cases on Nantucket have been connected to a beach party. In a statement, Biogen executives said February 2020 was nearly half a year ago and was a period when general knowledge about the coronavirus was limited. We never would have knowingly put anyone at risk. It can be used as an example for going forward with school openings and colleges, uh, universities. Tufts Medical Center infectious disease physician Gabriela Andujar Vasquez. Maybe with more people in the indoor setting, if mask hand hygiene and, and social distancing happens in that setting, then we mitigate that risk. By the way, Biogen employees themselves helped researchers with this study. The company saying it is proud to have collaborated in the effort to overcome COVID-19. In Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.